Today we're going to be doing the Friedel Crafts acylation uh, catalyzed with polyphosphoric acid. Quick demonstration of the mechanism. Starting with benzoic acid. Benzoic acid is protonated by the acid from polyphosphoric acid to form this protonated intermediate. This, since water is formed, it is kicked off to form the oxocarbenium. This is a very strong electrophile, and with the Friedel Crafts acylation, with the methoxy group at, the, at this position, the ortho and para positions are activated. In this case, the para position is more active. The lone pair drops down. To give the two ring system. The methoxy at the para position. Since polyphosphoric acid is used as a solvent, this will still be coordinated to PPA. And so before isolating the product, this needs to be hydrolyzed with water to free the product. And this will be noticed by a visible color change from the amber to colorless solution. After the crude product is isolated, it'll be recrystallized in methanol to afford the pure product, which will be then be characterized through melting point, IR, and NMR. To start the experiment, I'm going to weigh out 20 grams of polyphosphoric acid, which is a very viscous liquid, into this 125 mil Erlenmeyer flask. The flask has been teared to account for its weight. Twenty grams has been weighed out. Now two point four grams of benzoic acid. Two point four grams of benzoic acid added in. Followed by one point six grams of anisole.
adding that to the polyphosphoric and benzoic acid mixture. Then loosely covered aluminum foil and placed in a boiling water bath. with a stir bar. After one hour of stirring in a boiling water, the solution has turned dark amber. After this, it is placed in an ice bath to cool down to, uh, to zero degrees Celsius. As this is the PPA addict of the product, it needs to be hydrolyzed first. And to do so, 50 milliliters of water will be added to the mixture. After sitting on ice, 50 milliliters of water is added. And it is stirred vigorously until the whole solution turns clear. After stirring and scratching vigorously with water, the solution turns pale white and colorless, a visible change from the amber from before. This will be extracted with 25 milliliters of turk butyl methyl ether. which will provide us with the crude product. A little bit of warming is needed to get this fully dissolved, so it's placed back in the hot water bath to facilitate dissolution. After it has been dissolved, this will be transferred to a separatory funnel for extraction. After fully hydrolyzing the PPA complex, the layers are allowed to separate and the aqueous layer is drained off. After the aqueous layer has, has been washed off, the ether layer is washed with 10% sodium hydroxide. layers are allowed to separate and again the lower aqueous layer is drained off. Finally, the ether layer is washed with so saturated sodium chloride to remove any residual water.
The aqueous layer is again drained. And in a separate Erlenmeyer flask, the ether layer is collected. Any trace amounts of water will be removed by drying with sodium sulfate. The solution is swirled and allowed to settle. After settling, and drying over sodium sulfate. The sodium sulfate is filtered off and the ether layer is collected in a 100 mil round bottom flask to evaporate off the solvent on a rotovap. The flask is rinsed with an additional amount of ether and this is also transferred to the round bottom flask. After the ether has drained through here, it's transferred to a rotovap. And connected with a keck clip. Vacuum is turned on, rotation turned on, and solvent is slowly evaporated. After the solvent has been evaporated, the residual, uh, the round bottom flask is left with a white solid. This will be recrystallized from methanol. Minimal amount of boiling methanol is transferred into the round bottom flask. To get the solid dissolved. This is placed in a hot water bath now that there is methanol in solution. The round bottom flask is swirled until all of the crude material has been dissolved. and the solution is allowed to cool to at room temperature. Cooling in an ice bath, the product precipitates out as white crystal solids. This will be transferred to a filter through a filter paper, which has been pre-weighed to know the exact mass. The purified crystals will now be filtered through a pre-weighed Buchner funnel on a filter paper and rinsed with cold methanol.
crystals are allowed to dry in the filter paper to remove as much of the methanol as possible. Taking a quick melting point with a capillary tube that is sealed on the bottom, put a small amount of the purified sample in and pack it to the bottom by tapping it. When a small amount is down there, just insert into a preheated Digimelt. The expected melting point for this is about 60 degrees Celsius. So the, we are starting at 45 degrees Celsius and ramping to 80 with a slow ramp rate. started melting now and it is fully melted 60 to 61 degrees